Good evening. This is Agashwani Gohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Governor La Ganesan says there is no late down rules for success. Nagaland celebrates International Nurses Day. Chief Minister Nipirio extends greetings. St. Saviour College becomes the first college in Nagaland to secure national assessment and accreditation council grade A. An advisor, Dr. Kekre Lolie Yome urges students to develop habit of reading. Now the news in detail. Governor of Nagaland La Ganesan said there is no laid down rules for success except hard work, planning and execution. The governor was addressing the second convocation ceremony of St. Joseph's University in Jumukidima district as the chief guest today. Congratulating the graduates, he said that there are enormous opportunities in the world waiting for them. He stated that the society demands more from the youths today, ever more than before, and urged them to face these challenges and work with unwavering dedication towards their self-development as well as betterment of the society. The governor reminded the graduates that real education starts after they leave the university and face the real world on their own. He added that it is the moment of taking crucial life decisions. He uploaded the university, stating that it has made its impact in the field of higher education, providing quality education and building up a team of highly talented and motivated faculties. Earlier, Governor Larkinesan and other dignitaries presented certificates to 888 graduates and awarded certificates and medals to students under different categories. The Trained Nurses Association of India, local branch Kohima, today celebrated International Nurses Day on the theme of a nurses of a future at Naga Hospital Authority, Kohima. Speaking on the occasion, Commissioner and Secretary for Health and Family Welfare, Kikedo extended appreciation to all the nurses for their dedication and work, especially during coronavirus pandemic. He said a COVID-19 pandemic is a reminder of the vital role played by the nurses, adding that nursing is a profession with high standards and strong sense of public service. Kigedo, however, asserted that the greatest threat to global health is the shortage of workforce. He said as per the Indian public health system, there is a huge shortage of nurses in the state. In addition, Kigedo also admitted that the state has huge numbers of health centres than actually required, while the other issue is in the Technical Department of Health and Family Welfare, adding that only 40% is technical post and 60% is non-technical. To meet the requirements, the Commissioner and Secretary said it is of great importance to meet the health care challenges of future investment in nursing. Kigedo also informed that the central government has given approval for upgradation of School of Nursing to Nursing College. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Nipirio has extended gratitude to the nurses for their invaluable service on the occasion of International Nurses Day. In a tweet, Rio thanked the nurses for the sacrifices they had made and for being the backbone of health care system. St. Saviour College in Jaloki, under Beren District, became the first college in Nagaland to secure the National Assessment and Accreditation Council NAAC Grade A category with CGPA 3.12. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Button said it is a red letter day and a moment of pride for Nagaland and particularly for Beren District. Addressing the NAAC Grade A, an academic closing day at St. Saviour's College, Jaluki, Button said it is a milestone achievement in the field of academic excellence. He called upon the college administration of Nagaland to emulate the good gesture and efforts that St. Saviour College, Jaluki, has exhibited and bring laurels to the state. Budden also expressed his gratitude to the pioneers of the college for their visionary leadership and guidance that has made the college grow from scratch to the top of the colleges in Nagaland as far as NAAC assessment is concerned. Stating that education does not confine to only bookish knowledge but concerns with all-round development of individuals, he said education has to do a lot with human resource and personality development. Mentioning that with fast advancement of modern technology, the world has become a global village and there are 
already good and bad effects of these advancements, Budden urged upon the students to make right use of these modern technologies. This news comes to you from Agashwani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin or news on air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. Advisor for School Education and SCERT, Dr. Gekre Lole Yome, has urged students to develop the habit of reading. He stressed that reading strengthens cognitive skills, which will make the process of learning much easier. Yome was speaking at a state level award function for Nagaland Reading Festival, NFR, organized by Directorate of School Education and Samakra Shiksha Nagaland in collaboration with Shiksha Lokam Bangalore at Kohima today. Commissioner and Secretary for School Education and SCERT, Kevileno Angami, mentioned that education is a powerful tool that can bring social justice and equality, and only through education, human potential can be optimized. Principal Director for School Education, Tawasilan K, informed that Nagaland is in the top five among the states for using micro-improvement approach in schools. Winners of NRF and National Kala Utsav, a government primary school under EPRC Woka, government middle school Longtang under Transcend District, and government middle school Pipema Bazaar under Jumugidima District, won the first, second, and third prizes, respectively. On the occasion, the advisor launched the Literacy and Numeracy Fest under Nippun Nagaland Teachers Resource Package and Nippun App. The two-day Tribal Artisans Mela got underway at Down Hall Mukukchung today. The Mela is being organised by the Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India Limited Trifed under the Tribal Affairs Ministry flagship programme Marketing and Logistic Development for Promoting Tribal Products from North Eastern Region PTRNER in collaboration with State Implementing Agency Margofed. Inaugurating the Mela, Deputy Commissioner of Mugukchung, Shashang Pradap Singh, stressed on the need for regular interaction between implementing agencies and local artisans to bring about better marketing strategy. Singh also emphasised on the need to promote specific products which are peculiar to the region. General Manager Drifet, Head Office, Colonel M. Mehera, while delivering a short speech, said Drifet aims to identify local products which can be promoted by expanding the marketing scope through better marketing platform and also to provide assistance to enhance the values of their products. The Mela will be providing a platform for local artisans to exhibit the products and avail assistance under the banner of PTR and ER. The two-day state-level inter-high school tournament in badminton and double tennis, organised by Department of Youth, Resources and Sports, Nagaland, concluded today. Addressing the closing ceremony, Commissioner and Secretary for Youth, Resources and Sports, Bezope Kenya said sports play a critical role in education not only in terms of physical health but also in developing important life skills such as teamwork, leadership and perseverance. Eleven districts including Pek, Mon, Woka, Kohima, Dwensang, Longleng, Gifre, Dimampu, Mugukchung, Beren and Zunopoto participated in the tournament. And now 20 news, here are the main points again. Governor La Gunnison says there is no laid down rules for success. Nagaland celebrates International Nurses' Day. Chief Minister Nipirio extends greetings. St. Saviour College becomes first college in Nagaland to secure national assessment and accreditation council grade A. An advisor, Dr. Gekre Lole Yome, urges students to develop habit of reading. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.